You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, smile makeovers. We're talking about cosmetic dentistry. According to my first guest, he says, small improvements made to your smile can make a big difference and not only how people perceive you, but how you feel about yourself. Uh, with us, we have uh, Virginia's, of course, DC, the go-to cosmetic dentist, Dr. Sam Nala. Dr. Nala, welcome to the program. Thank you, Randy. Now, I have a lot of questions, and I know you brought a lot of photos, so we'll get to those in a moment. So you're a board-certified prosthodontist. Yes, I am. I mean, you, I guess this is your training, the cosmetic That's right. side of it. Tell me about that. So it's an advanced training. It, uh, it's about three years extra training uh, than a general dentist uh, usually take. Uh, it's a postgraduate training. And uh, we pretty much train on difficult cases, uh, major cases that uh, it's beyond the ability of a general dentist can do. As a prosthodontist, we are trained to do a beautiful smiles, uh, as, uh, as you know, but we also uh, 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 make sure that this smile work for this patient uh, and their bite is right so they can function with it without breaking any of these restorations. Now, the things we're talking about today, you teach other dentists. That's is that right. right. That's right. Absolutely. We do uh, courses for other dentists. We teach them in many subjects in dentistry and uh, this is something we do regularly. Here in the U.S. and even in Europe, you say? That's right. We go often to Europe and give some courses over there too and I lecture uh, nationally and internationally too. So I interrupted earlier, but your typical patient now is what? Like uh, who do you see? Uh, so, Randy, we don't have really a typical patient. We have a variety of patients. Some of uh, these patients come for implant dentistry, which is uh, some of them, uh, they lost their teeth and uh, they've been wearing denture for years and they hate the, their dentures. And they're looking for some permanent replacement, which is we can do with dental implant okay. nowadays. Uh, some other patients, they, they, they need to stabilize their dentures and we can help them using dental implants. And some of them uh, born without some teeth missing some teeth or some teeth was decayed and uh, taken out and they need a replacement for these teeth. The other part of uh, dentistry that we do is cosmetic dentistry. With the patient, they don't like their smile. Uh, the, uh, some of them, they are shy about uh, smiling or uh, taking photos. And uh, some of them, they are uh, above the age of 40. Their teeth is warning down and they, they really want to look for a change. Uh, and their smile and their look. And this is the other part that we do also, which is uh, smile makeover. Okay, great. Now you brought some photos of yes, some I of did. these. And they're dramatic. I, I'm, I'm trying not to side with you, but in the green room, I looked at these photos. They look good. Yeah, they are. So let's take a look on, uh, on this uh, patient. He came to the practice and he was really uh, shy about his smile. He, he was not smiling at all, uh, missing some teeth, and his smile was not attractive at all. And he wanted a solution for it. Uh, he was not even chewing his food properly, and he really wanted uh, a, a permanent fix for it. Uh, so what we did for him, we did uh, the seven steps of smile analysis list for him and analyzing what he looking for to in his future smile and then we did this smile uh, by uh, placing some implants and some porcelain veneers and be able to help him with uh, with his final smile okay and his smile looked like this uh, wow so with him actually we we make a smile makeover for him uh, and uh, this is his final smile. You can see how uh, he Very looked nice. completely different person. Uh, he, he's become more cheerful. Uh, his personality changed. We can see that on, on, uh, in the practice. Uh, he started becoming more social and uh, much, much more happier person. So when he saw his teeth for the first time, actually he looked at the mirror and uh, really uh, get very emotional. And uh, his wife came to the room and she was uh, so happy. And she was telling me that she didn't see him smiling for years and years. Uh, they've been married for more than 40 years and uh, they are a really cute couple. So when, when she saw his smile, uh, she was very happy uh, that she saw him uh, smiling after all these years. And she got very motivated that uh, she want to do her smile too. So, so what she, does she say? Like, what can you do for me? Exactly. So <laughs> okay. she's like, she gets like, okay, he got the beautiful smile. Now, what about me? <laughs> well, what, what can you do for me? All right. And uh, definitely um, uh, that was uh, her uh, before we do her smile. All right. 
uh, as, as you see, uh, Randy, this is the wife, and um, uh, she's a very nice lady. Uh, she has an older smile. Uh, the smile uh, have dark teeth and has some gaps in between the teeth, which is uh, very typical. You see it in older age patients. And uh, she wanted some solution for it. She tried to whiten her teeth for a long time. Uh, they don't respond very well to whitening. So uh, we did a smile analysis for her and sit down and talk about what she wants to look like after she do her smile. And uh, we go through this uh, seven steps, uh, step by step, to figure out exactly how is the final smile will look like. Mm -hmm. And uh, we go through a, a mock-up session, which is we transfer this smile to the patient mouth. So they get to try in teeth first. Exactly. To see how it looks. Exactly. So okay. they, they try the, to see how how's their teeth will look like before we do anything to their smile. And uh, once they like it, we go ahead and perform it. And uh, that's her right after uh, <laughs> wow. her, uh, we done her smile makeover. Um, she become totally different person. She's much happier, smiling really wide, while before she was really hiding her smile and uh, shying out from pictures. So as you see in the pre-op pictures, uh, she's very shy and smiling. Actually, we ne really need to work hard to try her uh, to try uh, make her smile. But look at, uh, after uh, all pictures, uh, she is much much happier. If you can put them together side by side, so we can show uh, the uh, how far they've come. I mean, this looks really really nice. Um, I mean, they look like a different group of people. Absolutely, you know? absolutely. They are totally different. It's like a power uh, couple now. Exactly. They are a very happy couple, and uh, they come and see us for the maintenance, and they, we always uh, have fun with them. Is that common? Like husband and wives come in together? Oh, that happened many times. Really? Absolutely, absolutely. Here's another patient, Randy. As you see here, the um, uh, patient came uh, with a worn down smile. Her, her teeth are flat, and uh, she was concerned about that she so looked much flat older. like this is that what from grinding uh, yeah, absolutely uh, okay. the patient grind at night uh, actually uh, studies shows that about 85 percent from the adults in the united states they grind their teeth at a certain time of their life and a lot of patients are not aware of that all right so when you see this you have to fix what the way their teeth come together before you could do anything uh, exactly. So right. we we do fix their bite, and we make sure that uh, the future grinding is not going to affect our restoration. All right. Uh, so uh, and absolutely, when the patient come like uh, with a flat teeth and flat smile, they look much older than their age. All right. uh, look at her. Uh, like she's uh, a young girl, but her smile give her the look of older person. So what did uh, you do for her? Uh, we did uh, porcelain veneers for her. Porcelain veneers. Absolutely. Oh, wow. And, uh, and if you can see that uh, the, uh, her smile after, she, she, she has a wider smile, she's uh, smiling more natural, and she has this curve in her smile, which is uh, make her look much, much younger. So on this woman, because it's a great, obviously, good looking after, does she get to see, get a, a bit of a preview, like to pick out her smile? Absolutely. Beforehand? So we do a mock-up session for this patient. And in the mock-up session, we pretty much show the patient in their mouth, not on, on the Photoshop or in the computer. We show them real things on their mouth, how they will look like after they do their smile. And uh, it, it's, it, it show them and they have the ability to edit it. So if they like to have some changes to their smile, we can do that early in the process until okay. they like it and then we can perform the smile for them. When she really saw her face in the, in the mirror after we did her smile, she was so excited and she get up and uh, start hugging us uh, in the <laughs> office. And this was really exciting moment for her. She dreamed about the smile for a long time and it's finally happened to her. Are there that many people that don't like their smile? I mean, uh, is that common? Like you hear it all, like every day? Yeah, we hear it like every I day. I hate my teeth. Uh, there's a lot of patients, they hate their smile, they hate their teeth, and some of them, they are shy about it, they don't talk about it that much, but sometimes they, they come to the office and they broke down and they start crying uh, in tears. Oh, really? In, in the consult? It, it is, yeah. In, in the consult room, we, we get a lot of patients, they, they open up and they cry, and they say how much they hate their smile and uh, how much it's affected them and how much it holds them back in their life. Some patients actually it hold them in their career. Some some of them it hold them in their social life because they cannot meet uh, a partner for them because they don't have this attractive smile which is hold them back. 
Right now, when you see somebody like this, right? Because I know you've been doing this for 17 years, but when you see this in your mind, you go, this is going to be good. Like, Absolutely. Do you know already? Yeah. Like we you definitely, see it? We definitely. Uh, like this patient, she has a worn down teeth, it's very flat. It's really give her um, uh, an older look. And uh, by changing these teeth and make them more rounded, it just automatically going to give her more younger, happier, cheerful smile. And people perceive people through their smile a lot of times. Now you're a dentist. So it doesn't surprise me to hear that. I mean, so you probably you probably think the smile is like one of the most important things. It is the, uh, one of the most important thing. If you think about it, uh, if you look at the sites like uh, eHarmony and Match.com, uh, you will see that a lot of uh, girls there they don't go with the guys for a second date just because they don't like their smile in the first date. So it is it is uh, a fact that the smile um, affects Plays a role. your life. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. There's a lot of people actually are very smart people, but uh, it, their smile holds them back from advancing in their career. And uh, sometimes they need to do something about it. Now, do people ever come in thinking they're too far gone? Like they're saying, Doc, this is the worst smile, the worst teeth you've ever seen? Absolutely. A lot of patients, they come, they think this is the worst mouth that, that we ever seen. And we assure them that it's not because we see much more complicated cases than an average dentist see. Uh, being a prosthodontist, uh, you get to see a lot of these complicated cases. They're in trouble by the time they get to the specialist, uh, right? Absolutely. I mean, they, nobody likes a dentist. But a, uh, but a that's oral true. surgeon, prosthodontist, periodontist, you know that you're in someone in trouble, right? That's right. So that's what, right. So, so they always come up a little bit afraid. They are. Uh, the fear is a big part uh, okay. that hold uh, a lot of patients uh, away from dentists and uh, they don't know their options. They don't know that dentists can put them in ease and they can offer them the sedation and do the procedure under sedation. So this is a big part that uh, make the patient uh, avoid dentists and uh, they get in so much complication because they're just avoiding to see dentists and sometimes they don't know their options. Let's talk uh, uh, about uh, this patient right here. And this is a patient uh, that came to our practice. A lot of dentists refused to treat her because she's a very complicated case. She grind her teeth uh, uh, a lot and she wore down all her teeth. And uh, she has a strong bite that uh, pretty much uh, break a lot of teeth. Okay. And a lot of dentists, they don't have the training and the ability to... Like they didn't want to touch her case because... She, the because she would break off her teeth. Absolutely. Because Absolutely. of her, the way her teeth came together? Uh, that's okay. right, okay. that's right. So- But this is right up your alley. This uh, is what you do. Absolutely, well, that's what uh, a prosthodontist do. Uh, we have the okay. extra training on doing these type of cases. Uh, so we definitely went through the small design um, uh, steps with her. And uh, we, she was missing some back teeth that we have to replace uh, with dental implants. And uh, we did some veneers on the front and get her her smile back. Wow, look at this. So as you see in the pictures, uh, she's totally a different person. She, uh, <laughs> she look much younger, she's much yeah, happier. Yeah. Uh, she opened up, she advanced in her career, and uh, it's, it's amazing to see the stories of these patients, how, how t this uh, transformation of their smile transformed their life too. So it's, uh, it's something uh, make me excited in the industry. It's, you say uh, they act differently, like you take, they have a personality at the beginning, and then once they get this done, their personality changes. Absolutely. Really? Absolutely. So we see that all the time. Uh, some patients, they, they really come to the practice, they are very shy about their smile, they, they hold them back. Um, you, you know, uh, smile affects how you perceive people because if you smile more, people think you are a kind person. Yes. Uh, if you don't smile and they hold your smile back, somehow they perceive you as not very kind. Uh, so that's what we see every day, is patient personality change. Uh, they start to be happier and cheerful and... Do you think people wait too long? Like, like the people that you meet, like this woman, do they admit like they've not liked their teeth for 20 years or whatever? Oh, a lot of these patients actually so they wait did not... wait and wait and wait? A lot of these patients waited too long. Uh, some of them it's uh, fear from uh, something unknown and some of them they just don't know their options and they didn't know that their case can be treated and uh, they can be in comfort. Uh, a lot of patients, they, they, they like fear from dentistry, uh, from pain. 
some of them uh, fear from the, the cost of doing something like this. Uh, and they don't know that there is options that can help them and it does not need to be very complicated. Now insurance, even with the best insurance, only covers a very small portion. Medicare, Medicaid doesn't cover it at all. But you have financing. Absolutely. We, we, do people finance? Uh, a lot of uh, this years? procedure, yes. Uh, I mean, people doesn't need to come up with a big chunk of money uh, from their saving to do this type of procedure. So absolutely, they can uh, finance the, these procedures and just uh, make a monthly payment and just have it easy for them. What are the age ranges of people coming in? for veneers or smile makeovers? Uh, Randy, there is no typical age, it's very a lot. Some young uh, patients, they really don't, ha uh, don't like their smile. They are in college, they are about to start their career and they want to have a sparkling smile that uh, help them advance in their career. And some, some of them, they are older ages, the, their teeth weren't down by age. They, 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 they've been shifted, they, they have so many changes, uh, discoloration in the teeth. Uh, that they didn't respond to whitening. And they're really uh, public figures, some of them. The 70s very young today. So absolutely. you get 70 year olds we in got there 70s, that want veneers, actually, things like that. Absolutely, we get actually 90 years old patients. That they, they <laughs> A 90 year old could get smile. veneers? Absolutely, they can really? get veneers and they can do, get their smile back. Okay, good. We have time for a few more photos. Absolutely. So let's take a look on, uh, on this patient right here. Okay. Uh, it's a patient that uh, came with a, uh, uh, a smile that has uh, gaps, uh, it has worn down. As you see, he's a young patient. Uh, he, uh, he really was not happy about their smile. And uh, we have a hard time making him smiling to take the pre-op pictures because uh, he was not smiling right. Did you force him to get this smile? We, we did really force him because we want to take the record and we want to make sure that we have the smile design right for him. So uh, he's a nice uh, young guy and uh, he's looking to advance in his career. Uh, he's making a career on, as an actor and uh, really want to advance on this and he felt that his smile is holding him back. So what did you do? Uh, so, uh, as we talked uh, earlier, we do our seven-step smile design for uh, all our patients and uh, we discuss the smile that he's looking for and uh, we go through the mock-up sessions and show him how his smile can look like if, uh, if he do his smile makeover. And then we did a portion of veneer for him. Nice. We are able to close uh, all the gaps in between the teeth and get him the curve to look like a young, uh, attractive smile and uh, it changed his life. He, he started advancing in his career and... Uh, uh, so before he didn't smile? Absolutely. Like very little? Very little. We really, we really need to push him to smile. He right. was very, very shy and smiling. So these veneers look, and again, I'm not trying to side with you, but they look real. So when I see big giant veneers walking down the street, because that's my fear about veneers, they seem yeah. big. Is that the patient wanted big giant teeth? Is it the dentist that maybe didn't have an eye for this? What's your take? Uh, I think it's more the dentist's uh, mistake because uh, the veneer should look natural. They should look uh, real. Uh, people should not spot them like uh, this patient have veneers. So okay. uh, it's, uh, it's uh, the, the part of doing cosmetic dentistry, you need to have the science and you need to have the uh, cosmetic uh, artistic part of it. Uh, uh, an artistic vision, an artistic hand to do, to craft these now You teeth. teach other dentists what we're talking about today. Uh, it's hard to teach the art part. Right? Uh, it is, it is hard. Uh, you can teach the science, that's what they teach on dental schools, but you need to develop this uh, artistic part. So how do you know yourself. if your dentist has that artistic eye? Look at their photos, look at their work, and okay. see what type of Obvious. work they, 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 they have. I think you can figure it out. So let's take a look on, on this patient. She came to um, uh, the practice. She's, uh, she's a housewife, but uh, she's a person that uh, spent her life uh, taking care of her family and her kids. And she, sometimes they forget about themselves. And uh, at a certain point, her smile starts bothering her. She has worn down teeth. She, uh, she has a flat smile, an even smile. She lost some teeth in the back that uh, was not restored. So she really want to have uh, her young age back. And uh, what we did for her is uh, a full mouth rehabilitation. 
uh, we did um, uh, implant in the back teeth to replace the missing teeth, and we did veneers uh, on the anterior teeth and the front wow. teeth. And you can see from just looking at the photo how how much different she is. Uh, she become much much more younger. Uh, well, she didn't look like she wanted to smile in the, in, she, in the, in the before. We photo. really we really have a hard time making her smile in the pre-op photos. It's, it's really hard for these patients to smile in the pre-op photos. A lot of times we find ourselves trying to force them to smile and we are not successful sometimes for them to smile because they really hated their smile it hold them back they can't just smile that's a pretty smile she is she they, has a they, they must get compliments all the time i mean did yeah. they tell you that uh, they do actually they come back and tell me that uh, so many people stop them on on the street sometimes in the <laughs> supermarket and ask them you have a very pretty smile and uh, we really like your smile and uh, uh, these compliments, it, it's uh, you know, it helped them uh, with their self-esteem. Uh, it, it raised their self-esteem up, uh, and it affected their life in, 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 in many ways. Okay, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, and when we come back, I know you have more photos. Uh, we'll get to as many as we can. You're sure. watching, and also the veneer process. I want you to take me through that process. You say you have a seven-step process. You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. We'll be right back. I have a lot of dental problems before. I wouldn't smile because my teeth look so bad, but now they're great. I'm so appreciative of what they've done for me, what he's done for me, and it's, I'm so thankful because now I can smile, I got confidence, I go in public, I can sing, I do what I want to do now because I have the teeth that I've always wanted. And look at me, my teeth are just like a Hollywood star, <laughs> it's, it is something else. And I can smile, I do what I want to do, and I go in public and be so happy, and I'm just so thankful. When he started, my husband started, I decided that I wanted to get something done also. So we were very fortunate to have met Dr. Nala and to have uh, got to go through this whole process with him. You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, smile makeovers. According to my first guest, he says small improvements made to your smile can make a big difference. Uh, with us, we have Dr. Nala. So Dr. Nala, I know you have more photos, uh, and, and, and for people just tuning in, we're talking about cosmetic dentistry, porcelain veneers, and uh, full, full mouth makeovers, I guess. Yeah, so this is uh, another patient, that uh, woman, she came, she didn't really like her smile, she didn't like how her uh, teeth in the front uh, are shipped and wear down, she has some gaps in between uh, her teeth, and she really uh, want a change. And uh, we went through, again, the smile uh, steps, uh, smile makeover steps, and we show her how, what we can do for her. And she, she got very excited. She, she really won that change. And we did a portion of veneers on her. And as you see uh, wow. uh, before and after, you can uh, see what, uh, what, what we did for her. Actually, we widen her smile. We make her buccal corridor uh, you wider. You say widen her smile. Absolutely. OK. Absolutely. So, uh, as you see in the pre-op photos, her smile was narrow. She doesn't show that much of her smile. Uh, in, in the post-op, we make the smile wider. She show more uh, flow in her smile. Totally different look, by the way. Absolutely. In this before and after. Absolutely. I mean, she looks different. Uh, she looks different. She is more happier. She has uh, become a different person. She's, uh, she's much more happier than, than before. Now, I'm, I'm trying not to rush you, but I know you have more photos. If you can go quickly through those. Absolutely. So right. I'm going to go through a couple of cases here. Uh, another patient, a uh, female patient, that she came with uh, a smile that uh, broke down. Uh, her teeth in the anterior is breaking down from grinding. It's being shifted and uh, she really wanted to do something about it. So uh, again, uh, we do the smile design steps and we are able to help her with uh, some porcelain veneer and smile makeover. Wow. And as you see in the pre-op and post-op pictures, she totally looked different. She's a new person uh, with much happier smile, much youthful smile. Because you know, Randy, when we, when we have this patient aging, their teeth age with them. And suddenly, if you change their smile, they become much younger. That's true. I mean, when you look at this, uh, you know, we were talking about the green room and this woman in particular. She looks in the before like, you know, somebody that is retired, relaxed. In the after, she looks like she could be a CEO of some company. Absolutely. I mean, it's and a difference. It changes uh, like uh, the, the look. 
Absolutely, and we see that a lot of times. Actually, a lot of our patients, uh, after we do their smile, they come back and tell us, oh, guess what? We got a promotion at work. We, we excelled in our career. It's changed their life. A lot of them, they meet their partner after we do their smile. Good. So that's, that's something definitely you see as a transformation on their smile. Let's take a look also about this smile and this lady, she came uh, to our practice. Uh, she she really did not like her smile. She didn't like uh, the crowding in her teeth and, and the lower teeth. And she wanted to do something about it. And that's something very common uh, when you are uh, about 40 years old, the teeth start shifting and sometimes this crowding is, uh, is hard for the patient because if you are a, a shorter than uh, average person and people will look to you from the top, the, uh, your lower teeth uh, always show. show. The lower crooked teeth. Yeah, exactly. And uh, you know, people perceive people through a smile. So you call that instant orthodontics. Uh, that's right. So they can walk in with crooked teeth, walk out with straight teeth. Absolutely. So with patient veneers. that yeah, patient doesn't like to stay on braces for two years to fix their crowding teeth, and there's instant fix for that by doing veneers. So they can fix their smile in two appointments and instead of going through braces for two years. Okay. So braces is not for everyone. Some people have a very busy schedule and it's hard for them to have braces for two years. We're out of time. Somebody watching this, final message. They don't like their smile, but for whatever reason, they're putting it off. What do you say? Uh, I will invite them and actually uh, they can come and uh, take a look in, in their mouth and uh, we can educate them about their options. It can be a simple fix and uh, uh, they don't need to suffer from having a bad smile for a long time. Okay, good. Now, we, we should mention, I mean, your, your center, you're offering all, uh, all levels of sedation. You've got these uh, wands, these uh, cameras that go in the mouth rather than the impression material. Absolutely. Right? So we got the, what we call it interoral digital scanner which is uh, take a digital impression. So instead of having molds in your mouth and a lot of people- Because gag on that, right? Absolutely, a lot of pa patients have this gag reflex that they can't take these molds on their mouth. So now we have the solution for it. It's uh, advanced technology and we take this impression using a little camera that we put in the, in the mouth okay. and they scan their mouth and we don't need to put mold in their mouth at all. And you do it all right there. Absolutely. Right? I mean, we you have, have kind of like the machine that makes like a digital printer that uh, makes the Trial smile? Uh, we, we, we do it, yeah, we do it right in the office. So we have all these machines in the office. So uh, we do have also the CT scan machine in the office. So patient doesn't need to go anywhere. Uh, it's all done in one place. Do you have a bias? I'll put you on the spot. Do you believe that if you're going to get cosmetic dentistry done, look for a prosthodontist? Uh, absolutely, I believe a in that. A board certified prosthodontist, you said. Absolutely, and you're going to need to look at their work too, look at before and after photos, and uh, uh, board certified prosthodontists definitely have an advanced training on, on doing these type of cases. I want to thank you for coming on the program. Excellent. Uh, thanks a lot, Ryan. Great info. You've been watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez the authority on health issues.